This is Twit. A new kind of addition to the camera editing uh, options because for the longest time we've had, of course, the ability to uh, take a photo inside of the Photos app to, to, let me say, pull up a photo inside of the Photos app and edit it with your standard options for saturation and contrast and sharpness. And of course, you've got the auto mode, but you've also got some built-in filters from Apple. Well, that has all changed uh, in the new way of things. Uh, with iPhone 16, there are these new photographic styles that you are able to edit. And I'm curious to hear, Rosemary, what you think about them, because while I like what you can do with them, I find them kind of difficult to understand what exactly I'm doing. I'm just kind of moving my finger around and seeing what looks cool. And I think that gets a little, uh, at least for me, for someone who likes to really understand something, that's been a, a, a troubling part of it. Yeah, so if people remember the good old days of Instagram filters, where everybody would take their photo in Instagram and it would apply a filter, um, then photographic styles is sort of like that, but without the potato quality. Um, so essentially what it is, and I'll just uh, pop open my camera so I can actually uh, attempt to show people, is uh, the ability to... Uh, using the icon in the top right, uh, have a number of sort of different uh, views uh, or color tones, color profiles, I guess is the right word. So there's cool rose, there's neutral, there's rose gold, and then you can sort of drag within a square at the bottom to increase your color intensity or decrease it and adjust your lighting um, and just general saturation. And the, the thing with this is it kind of it's fun um and it, it tells you what your undertones are um and the tone and the color and the palette right at the top and there's a handy dandy little uh, reset icon on there to move everything back into the center um but it's just a way to take photos and perhaps improve the coloring where you've maybe taken a photo somewhere with blue lights or orange lighting or something where everybody everything's looking a little bit weird color wise this could be a great way of correcting that or it can just be a great way of making something seem a little warmer or cooler than it is if that's the sort of photo that you're going for and uh these options so we can put two links in the show notes because there is uh photographic styles with the iphone 16 pro and then there's um or iphone 16 range including pro and non-pro models and then there's also a guide on how to use these with your non-iphone 16 um but uh yeah they're the photographic styles aren't new uh to ios 18 but uh they have had a little bit of a glow up with the new camera control on the iphone i think that's a very clever way of putting it um i uh, the 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 options that you're presented with uh, at the top of, of tone, color, and palette all kind of make a difference. You've got a D-pad that you're working with at the bottom of the screen, or depending on, on how you have your camera view, that might be in a different place. And being able to move that around, um, as well as make adjustments to the palette itself. So I can take my palette, for example, from uh, this, this sort of dark uh, blue color, to a more pinkish color. So that is uh, making a difference to that. That's sort of taking away from cool rose and making it more of a warm rose. And then I can pull out color or bring up color and bring up the tone. And see, this is the thing is that these words are, uh, are kind of specific to this system. And I think that's the part that has been difficult for me is trying to figure out exactly what Apple means when it says tone, color, palette, and, and, and getting used to that new thing. Now, that said, I have found that it can take some really cool photos and can, especially when it comes to human skin tones, do a good job of with one photo um, capturing so many different moods and i thought that I've, i found that kind of delightful in comparison to what 
we've had in the past where when you you take a photo and you apply a filter it feels a lot more like a filter whereas this is just from the ground up from the get-go you've got this nice uh look and feel to your photo i've also seen people sharing their color palette and tone numbers with the photos that they're taking and i think that's kind of fun uh as people are figuring out what looks good to them what works for them you start to find out what uh what their numbers are specifically that they enjoy and i i, I found that delightful as well so you can kind of share amongst each other to figure that out yeah, uh, yeah. And um, it's worth remembering as well that iOS will automatically remember camera settings for you. So if you've selected one of these photographic styles to take a picture with, then the next time you open the camera app, it will uh, default to that. And there is a guide on Apple's website, but I can also just show folks quickly now. Um, if you go into settings and then into the camera section, then there is uh, an area called preserve settings. Um, and you can toggle these uh, options on and off. So I have the camera mode and photographic style, depth control, macro control, and exposure adjustment turned off because I want those to revert to defaults when I move away from the camera app. But I have it remember my controls menu and my creative controls. And there are a number of different things that you can control here. And Apple's got a nice little guide on their website about saving the camera settings, which goes into a little bit more detail on uh, which what setting that actually means and what is action mode, for example. Nice. Um, so with these photographic styles, uh, with, when you take a new photo with the iPhone, um, you can, of course, make adjustments right then and there. But what's great is that you can also afterward in the Photos app make adjustments with this uh, photographic styles option. So you'll have there, there's a little bit of extra data that's saved with each photo that makes it so that after the fact, you can make even more uh, tonal adjustments as you as you proceed. Hey, if you liked that clip, well, there's so much more to get by joining Club Twit. You can watch all of iOS Today, where we cover all things iOS, tvOS, HomePod OS, watchOS, and so much more. It's all the apps, all the tips and tricks, and everything with Rosemary Orchard and me, Micah Sargent. Join Club Twit at twit.tv slash club twit to see all of iOS Today.